What's up guys, welcome to our channel. Get ready to be captivated by the brilliance of OLED screens as we take you into a sneak peek at the upcoming iPad Pro models. Witness how Samsung and LG, the titans of display manufacturing, are redefining visual experience. Stay tuned, because this is not just an evolution, it's a revolution. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that like and subscribe button. And let me know in comments what you think about the upcoming iPad Pro models. The new iPad Pro to feature Samsung LG OLED screens. Samsung and LG, South Korea's premier display manufacturers, are set to deliver a combined total of 8.5 million panels for the upcoming 11 and 12.9 inch iPad Pro models, a deal valued at approximately $2.9 billion. Apple Inc has reportedly selected these companies to provide all the organic light-emitting diode, OLED panels for the new iPad Pro models, slated for release later this month, outperforming their Chinese competitors. Industry insiders revealed on Tuesday that Samsung Display and LG Display are projected to supply 4 million and 4.5 million OLED panels, respectively, for the new iPad Pro models this year. Apple has reportedly chosen to use OLED panels over liquid crystal displays LCDs, for the upcoming iPad Pro models to enhance screen quality. According to Omdia, a global display industry tracker, the 11 and 12.9 inch OLED panels are priced at $290 and $390 per unit respectively, bringing the total value of Samsung and LG's orders for the new iPad Pro models to an estimated $2.9 billion. Both companies are anticipated to commence mass production of their respective OLED panels for the iPad Pro at their Gen 6 factories. This marks the first instance of the Korean pair being tasked with supplying all the OLED panels for the iPad series amidst the rapid rise of Chinese competitors in the OLED display market. China's leading display manufacturer, BOE Technology Group, dominated the global OLED market for foldable phones with a 42% share in the last quarter of the previous year. In response to Chinese competition, Samsung and LG have redirected their focus towards information technology, IT OLED panels, primarily used in tablet PCs and laptops, moving away from TV and smartphone OLED panels. This strategic shift proved successful for the Korean display giants, securing all panel orders for the new iPad Pro models, outpacing Chinese counterparts, including BOE. Increased investment in IT OLED panels. The race to secure new iPad OLED panel orders intensified last year. CEOs of Samsung Display and LG Display visited Apple's headquarters in Cupertino, California, with the goal of securing OLED panel orders for the new iPad series. BOE, which has been supplying OLED panels for iPhone models since 2020, was also reported to have entered the competition. Following this recent triumph, Korean display manufacturers are expected to accelerate their efforts to extend their lead over Chinese rivals in the mid-size OLED panel market, targeting not only notebooks, but also gaming monitors. While the growth of the TV and smartphone OLED market has plateaued, the demand for OLED panels for IT devices is set to surge as more laptop and tablet PC manufacturers choose OLED screens to improve display quality. Currently, most IT devices use LCD screens, indicating potential for growth in OLED demand. Omdia forecasts that tablet PC OLED panel shipments will more than double to 27.3 million units in 2027, up from 12.1 million this year. Laptop OLED panel shipments are predicted to rise by a staggering 476.5% to 29.4 million from 5.1 million over the same period. Laptop and tablet PC panels are larger than those for smartphones, ensuring higher profitability. To maintain their leading positions, LG and Samsung are expected to actively invest in IT OLED technology. In April of the previous year, Samsung Display announced plans to invest 4.1 trillion Palun 1, 3.1 billion dollar, by 2026 to construct a Gen 8.6 IT OLED panel factory with a 2 620x2 290mm substrate. A larger substrate allows for the production of more panels, thereby reducing costs. The Gen 8.6 glass substrate can yield 88 pieces of 44-inch OLED cells. And there you have it, a glimpse into the future of display technology. As we close this chapter, remember that with Samsung and LG at the helm, the journey towards unparalleled visual experiences has just begun. 
Stay tuned to our channel for more insights into the tech world. Until next time, keep exploring, keep innovating, and remember, the future is brighter with OLED. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that like and subscribe button. And let me know in comments what you think about upcoming OLED iPad Pro lineup from Apple. Your support helps us create more content for you. Thanks for watching.